Well, hey guys, it's Mark and Laurie with Gables on the Go. Hey everybody. Hey. And new to this video and first time on camera, I think that I can remember, this <laughs> is my sweet mama hey. standing next to me right here. <laughs> and we've got a really cool show for you today, guys. We're in the Villages, Florida. So normally, you know, all of our videos are down in the Florida Keys. And for you guys that are brand new to our channel and don't know us, I'm Mark Gable. This is my wife, Laurie Gable. This is my mama, Marlise Gable, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are real estate agents in the Florida Keys down in Monroe County. So if you ever need any help with real estate down there, be sure to give us a call. But today we are in the villages that's in central Florida, and we're going to give you a tour through the villages. This is an absolutely beautiful neighborhood and community. I think you're going to love it. So watch all the way to the end. And be sure to check the description below the video and for the on-screen prompts, I'll leave you ways to get in touch with us and get more information if you would like more information on anything real estate related in the Florida Keys or lifestyle. Or lifestyle. Or yep. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna give you a, vill a villages tour today, so stay here with us, you're gonna love it. Let's go inside. Yeah. We're gonna take a door, Mama. quick uh, walk yeah. through the house and go out the back so you can see the cool landscape. Yeah, we're not gonna show you the whole house because Mama wanted to make sure it's perfect and she says it's not right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanna show you how pretty it is back here by the lake. Say company. Yeah. yeah. Suitcases yeah. hanging around. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful out here? This is a beautiful view with all the lily pads. And yeah. You should hear the little tree frogs at night. Oh, I know. It's, That's it's, sound it's amazing. beautiful out here. And Mom just got this closed in. This used to be a, um, a screen porch. Yeah. Used to be a screen porch, and she got this beautiful glass put in not long ago, and it just really finishes things off beautifully back here. You can see she's got a pretty little sitting area over there. But say she's looking for new furniture. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to get some new furniture. So she's ready to update the furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's still pretty, Mama. It is. <laughs> Thank you. So just a quick little overview of Mom's house here real fast, and then we're going to jump in the car and take you through the villages and show you what a beautiful community this is. If you guys are interested in the Central Florida area, um, just south of Ocala, about an hour from Orlando, about an hour from Tampa. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful community I think you're going to enjoy. And what's special about it? What's special about it? My what's mom lives about? here. That's the number well, that's one, the number special, one special thing. Yes, that yes. Mom lives here, but there's also that it's a, what is it, a 55 and over community? Yes. Yeah. Retirement. Yeah. Retirement, Retirement community. Yeah. Yes. Which Actually, you're going to be surprised at the fun amenities they have here. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is not a retirement community. I would well, call this no. a <laughs> retirement city. I mean, this thing, yeah. they have their yes. own mm -hmm. everything here. Well, yeah, come on, do. let's go show right, them. Let's go see it. Okay. Hey, guys, we stopped by the clubhouse in Mom's uh, neighborhood here. I want to show you this. We'll do a quick walkthrough so you can see this pool and clubhouse. It's beautiful. You'll love it. Yeah, okay. We go. Oh, this is pretty, yeah. Nice. Can't get in that way, so this is looks like the dining area in here. You probably can have big big events. They've got a looks like they got a stage up there with a projector and all kind of cool stuff. Let's see if we can get out by the pool. Gym area. All kinds of great equipment to work on. Work out on here. So we're at the neighborhood pool here, and this is an amazing pool. We've been swimming here before. I mean, you can see the grottoes, the waterfalls, yeah. everything. It's got a hot tub over there. It's beautiful. Lots of space. 
There's a bar over there with a big screen TV. Just amazing, isn't it? It's awesome. <laughs> I love Beautiful it. food. Uh, no Mama, you come out here much? No, no, I don't swim, so I stay <laughs> away. I go to the gym, though. <laughs> go to the gym. <laughs> Beautiful. Guys, all the way through the villages when you drive through here, I don't know if you can see the golf carts over there to our left, but all through the villages they have golf cart paths that you can get from one end of the villages to the other, uh, all on your golf cart without getting on the road. Really nice. Mom, what clubhouse is that over there? Arnold Palmer's clubhouse is right over there to our left. I don't know if you can see it. But everything is kind of centered around golf courses down here. And um, you can just ride from your house right to, I don't know how many championship golf courses, Nancy Lopez, Ar Arnold Palmer, who else? What other big golf courses are here, Mom? Is there a Jack Nicklaus? No, no. No Jack Nicklaus course here? No, There's a bunch of golf courses here. You guys can look online. Yeah, you can look online, um, find out about the villages, but there's, I don't know, there's got to be, what, 10 or 12 golf courses here, maybe more? more than yeah, more than that, Mama says. Yeah. <laughs> but everything. Beautiful. Spanish moss hanging off of them. Gorgeous. So this is Lake Sumter Landing. And this is one of the little um, town squares. All the shops and restaurants. How many town squares are there now, Mom? Four. So they got four town squares down here. And every one of the town squares, they got live music every night. So we're coming into Sumter Landing. And you'll get a kind of feel for what things look like down here. Now at night, it's really cool because everybody comes down with their golf carts. And there'll be golf carts parked all along here. And then everybody goes out to see the live bands eat at the restaurants, go to the movies. The villages are really a city. They're not, yeah. not a retirement yes. community. <laughs> I mean, no. they, are, they are really a city. They got their own hospitals, doctor's offices, emergency services, fire department, police department, grocery, store. grocery stores best restaurants, everything you could imagine here, all within the confines of the villages. So it is really, I think when, when people hear 55 and older community in Florida, they think a place for everybody to go and die. Well, that's not the case in the villages. These people, <laughs> these people are living it up in the villages. <laughs> they are. And there are a lot of people here who are a lot younger that, you know, work here and I think they have school here in the villages yeah. yeah for the people who um, work and have children the villages children yeah school. they got schools mm -hmm. everything so it's oh, it's wow. really a city designed around retirement age people not so much just a retirement community I think that has a bad a bad sound to a retirement community this is a 55 and over active active very city. active community <laughs> <laughs> city town well i know that zach and all the guys out of uh, ocala used to come down here to, to hang out and party and go to the different places and they're, they're young they're in their 30s so <laughs> if it's good for them i'm sure it's good for everybody <laughs> well we've had a good time coming down here we've had a ball and hanging out here. on the town square in the evenings yeah. going out to eat yeah Riding our bikes on the golf cart trails, which is a lot of fun too, if you want to ride your bike instead of the golf cart. Yeah. So we're here at Lake Sumter Landing, and this is the town square. And Mama says, Rocky and the Rollers, a very popular group, is going to be playing tonight. And they actually have music every night of the week, right? 365? Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. dancing. They're gonna set up the chairs around this square out here and everybody will be dancing yeah, and be able to sit and, and look watch. at it. I know. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right. So you can buy some uh, drinks here. You can buy wine and beer at the little stands around the outside, and they're really cheap. I mean, I think five dollars for a yeah. solo cup of I think last wine. time it was a sixteen ounce thing of red wine you got for six bucks. Yeah, yeah. three dollars yeah. and a double of beer six. That's good. Yeah, that's one yeah. nice thing I like about the villages mm -hmm. is that things are not expensive like a tourist place. It's, right. They make it reasonable they do. so that, you know, everybody can afford to enjoy themselves here. Mm -hmm. If you live here, you know, it's not, dinner is reasonable and not yeah. tour, not tourist charges, right? Right, right. Yeah. And uh, this is the area yeah. to dance in out here. Yeah, they set up all these chairs in the evenings and they have everything going on up here and the bands will be up on this stage. Now keep in mind, there's like four of these places there out here. are four yeah. squares in villages town yeah, squares this was the second square that they built the yeah. spanish blanks is the first one and oh, this, okay. second this is one. the second yeah, and mark may i point out the south center over here. yeah yeah there's the sales center for the villages you can come here and find out about homes and pre-owned homes hey that being said guys if you're interested in the villages laurie and i know a wonderful real estate agent here in the villages um i'll put the description in the in the uh put that information in the video uh description below the video and uh but if you want to give us a call we're glad to refer you to her up here she's fantastic huge brokerage up here in the villages mm -hmm. if mama approves of her yeah then you know yes. she's good that's right <laughs> yes. yeah so. my mama says she's a good realtor i guarantee you because my mama is picky <laughs> <laughs> particular she, she is so, yeah. particular absolutely yeah. oh, can you see the hotel over there mm -hmm. that's a nice place to stay Waterfront yeah. Inn. yeah yeah that's good Look. What? There's a boat named after me. Finally. There is. There's That's a lorry boat. The lorry boat. Zoom in on the lorry boat. <laughs> well, there it is. Yeah. The lorry dinghy. <laughs> I only get a dinghy? Is that all I'm worth? <laughs> is a dinghy? <laughs> Baby, you're worth a mega yacht. Ooh, all nice. I can afford is a dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> a mega yacht one day, maybe. And this is the waterfront inn, yeah. which is a wonderful place to stay. Not very expensive. Yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty out there. Let me get a close up on, on that for people. So I guess you can just go rent a room there and stay here and enjoy the. Yeah, you can stay yeah. here and enjoy the. And there's so many shops and restaurants here. You could be entertained all day right here. Yeah. For the people that like to be outside, mm -hmm. they can just dine outside, even in the hot weather now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Okay. Yeah. You know how pretty that is up there. Everything in the villages is just really neat, clean, pretty, manicured. Hand washing station, a party every night. <laughs> and if you go around the other side, that's where they serve the drinks. Yeah. In the evenings. What time does it start, Mama? Two, two for one happy, happy hour. There it is. Yeah, five yeah. to six o'clock. This will be open from five to nine. The entertainment is five to nine. Five to nine for the band. And at nine o'clock, everybody skedaddles. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> There'll be 2,000 people down here at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, 9.15, and we'll be a soul down here. <laughs> <laughs> they jump in their golf carts and they go home. Nine o'clock sharp, or they go to Katie Bell's. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we're coming into Spanish Spring Square now. All these little areas in here, these um, squares kind of have a different theme. So Lake Sumter Landing, where we were last, it's all around the water and all that kind of stuff. Spanish Springs, it's kind of a completely different look. Totally. Different architecture. Everything over at Lake Sumter kind of looked like uh, coastal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost uh, what New England looking stuff, yes. yeah. And in here, everything has kind of got the Spanish southwestern look to it. Got Publix right there in front of us, okay. So there's the square over there. And again, they have live music every night here. Get all the chairs out. Everybody gets to listen to the band, hang out. Go to the left. Go to all the restaurants. Spanish Springs is not as busy. Okay. No? This is the oldest square, is that right, Mom? Yes, the first square. Turn where? Left? Mm -hmm. I love this water feature here on yeah. the square. Isn't that pretty? Bitches to sit on. Some shade. And as you can see, this square is not, well, the middle part for dancing is not quite as big as the last one. Yeah. But uh, still very spacious. Yeah, it is. You know, one of the things I love the most about the villages in general, I mean, obviously you see all this stuff on the outside, but they have all of these opportunities here for um, classes. There's all kind of clubs, things that everybody does here. And I mean, you wouldn't believe if you look online and see what they offer here. Um, I'm so glad my mom lives in this area because she can go to any kind of class she wants. I mean, they teach everything from every kind of craft you can imagine to actual college courses here, uh, foreign languages, IT, all kind of stuff and it's uh it's just so nice and then there's there's every kind of imaginable club if, if you are into something they've got it here in the villages i mean they've got rc boat clubs sailing clubs offshore fishing clubs they have a huge saltwater club here that takes trips over the bahamas goes fishing out in the atlantic out in the gulf all over the place and takes their boats so i mean it's just such an active place for someone to come and retire and just pretty much do anything you want. They've got equestrian facilities here, polo grounds. I mean, softball teams, baseball teams. It is absolutely amazing. And they, you know, the population here in the villages, I think, if we're accurate, we kind of looked it up on Google, so we cheated, so we don't really know. But um, supposedly it's around 85,000 people that actually live in the villages. So, I mean, it's a huge, place and there's just so much to do you come, come some villagers if you want to ask them to speak. i'm not feel, i'm not filming the villagers the villagers deserve their privacy <laughs> oh and back behind us uh -huh. is the big catholic church yeah and mama said that they have taken part of that and turned it into a theater for events and you know people to come and tony bennett came and performed yes. there and yeah. uh yeah. so performance last two yeah. years ago yeah. oh yeah. yeah tony bennett wow tony bennett you know, another big consideration um, about living in the villages versus living where we live in the Florida Keys, and we see this a lot, um, you know, as, as people age, obviously the, the necessity for good health care becomes more and more important. And in the Florida Keys, yes, we have hospitals, we have your basic uh, facilities for doctors and other, you know, specialties, but traditionally if you need a major surgery or some you know major health care you got to go up to miami so we get a lot of people that live in the keys um you know it, it comes time when they want to get back up to where they have better uh, facilities for medical and other services and uh, a place like the villages is very popular for that coming out of the keys so if you're getting ready to sell your home in the florida keys and you want two good real estate agents <laughs> to sell your property laurie and i can help you but um, a lot of people come up from the Keys and come up to Central Florida uh, after living in the Keys, you know, 
most of their life. And this is a wonderful place to come and you have great uh, medical facilities here, everything in the world you could possibly need here. You know, from here, I think it took Laurie and I about five and a, five and a half hours to drive from Marathon up to here. So uh, five and a half, six, something like that. So it's not bad of bad drive still back down to the Keys. And of course, like I said before, you know, over, only an hour over to Tampa and o only an hour to the other coast over around Daytona Beach, that area. So um, really nice location right off 75. Uh, if you're trying to find it on a map, it's just south of Ocala, Florida. Um, maybe 20 minutes south of Ocala, right off I-75, so it's very easy to get to. I wanted to mention this and I wanted to bring you through this neighborhood, guys, so you can kind of see a range um, of different price neighborhoods in the villages. And one thing to note in here, this whole um, city, community, whatever you want to call it, this whole area was built uh, specifically uh, actually a guy named Schwartz, the Schwartz family, actually came up with the concept of uh, the villages and I think the general idea was to make a place where people could retire from all walks of life, from all financial backgrounds. Um, there are homes in here that are at very, very affordable and obviously I've already mentioned that the amenities are very affordable and um, you know there's there's just a huge range of homes so everything that you want to pick from you know regardless of what your your financial ability is i think it seems there's something here for everybody uh for for lower priced homes all the way up to as much as you want to spend it's kind of all here in the villages and i wanted to bring you through one of the neighborhoods here that would be an example of a little bit less expensive neighborhoods i know we've taken you through a couple of very nice, uh, more expensive neighborhoods, but I wanted you to see that range because I think there's something here for everybody. So we're here at the Orange Blossom. I don't know, it's not really called a country club. It's the Orange Blossom where the pool is and uh, kind of the pool for the whole neighborhood and then the restaurant here. We're gonna go inside and try out the uh, Orange Blossom restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. It's Orange Blossom Golf and Country Club. Orange Blossom Golf and Country Club. New collection. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the neighborhood my mother used to live in. Mom, how, how long have you had your new house? I can't remember. Two years. Two years. So Mama lived in this neighborhood. This is called the Village of Harmswood. These houses in here and that house right there where that gentleman in the pink shirt is standing is my mom's old house. Mm -hmm. She had a big enclosed pool back there. Real pretty place. Yeah. But she decided to downsize a little bit Looks good. and move yeah. over to where she is now so she didn't have the big pool to take care of. In the yard. These houses in here, this is a rough estimate, guys, just based on what we know right now. These houses can go from about 1.2 million all the way up to 2 million or more. Yeah. But beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. This is called Harmswood.
So this is Lake Neona Park and Boat Ramp. That's the lake behind Mom's house that you saw out the window. They got a little community park here and then they got a boat ramp and you can launch your bass boat and go out there fishing on the lake. We see guys out there fishing all the time. Don't know if the fish is good or not, but I don't know many flakes, uh, lakes in Florida that don't have some pretty big bass in them. So you can see the boat ramp there and then the little park and everything over here. Right, guys well we hope you enjoyed our tour of the villages i know we didn't go into a lot of detail or anything for you um actually we've got some good friends that spent a week here um a couple of weeks ago it's darren uh, derek and karen wilkes and they have a youtube channel called over water over land and if you'd like to go to their site they spent a week here they went out with real estate agents they did four or five days of videos all about the villages pretty much all the details you probably want to know. <laughs> so uh, if you'll look up uh, over water, over land, good friends of ours in the Florida Keys, and they'll give you a bunch of good information on the village's great resource for you. So anyway, I'm glad you guys got to meet my mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're a special lady. <laughs> and hopefully <laughs> we'll have her on the videos more often. And uh, thanks so much guys for watching our channel. If you need help with anything real estate related or vacationing in down in the Florida Keys, give me and Laurie a call. We'll be glad to help you anytime. We'll see you next time on Gables on the Go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.